In this video, we're gonna be customizing Dior Air Jordan 1 soles. I'm gonna be creating these soles for the crocodile belly Dior 1s that we've been working on lately. This is what it looks like right now. We're gonna be wrapping it up very soon, but for right now, we're working on the soles. You might have seen on my most recent TikTok laced up customs, I created this sole right here. Very simple, easy. I just grinded the inside out, as you can see on this sole right here. We're making way from the heel, going all the way up to the toe, but it's a very long process. We already got that ready for this pair. If I take the picture out of here because we are going to be laminating it it is now clear ready to go this is a picture that i went for the second shoot the first one is an nft i thought it was very cool very unique lots of hate on it and i love to see that now these are all the materials we're going to be using to create this sole first of all is our clear glue this is just so it doesn't cover the image and it has a nice clear effect next is a picture and i went with a face of a statue you might see it on some tattoos and normally it was just a white and gray effect but i added some different ones so it's now pink and green and last is our laminate paper as you can see we're just going to be sandwiching it one piece on top one piece on the bottom of our image so let's start the process so before we started this video I already cut it out to proportion so it's all good ready to go now I'm gonna peel off the top piece peel off the bottom piece lay it there let it cure for a little bit and then we'll cut it up I now have the picture all ready to go. As you can see, it's laminated on the back as well as the front, and we're gonna be applying this to the sole because we did already clear out the inside of the sole. I'm gonna glue the inside of the sole. I will next glue the top of the image, let it dry a little bit, I'll stick it together, and we're good to go. So a different type of glue that I would be using is a barge, but that's a glue that has a yellow tint. So if you can see, I'll crack this right open. It's a nice clear glue, so there's no tint or anything. So maybe if you have like a yellow picture, you could use barge. I don't really like using barges because it does give that tint. So I'm just gonna give a really light coat, light coat, not heavy like any other type of gluing that we would be doing. Very light, because we all that we're doing is applying just a really simple thin image. This doesn't need much glue, plus look how cool that looks. So as I wait for the glue to settle over there, I want to show you this bad boy right here. This is my sewing machine and embroidery machine. This is a Brother SC600, and this is something that I've been using a lot lately. I've been doing this every single day since my last video, pretty much teaching myself how to make clothing, how to make streetwear fashion. I'm having lots of fun with this, and I will be releasing lots of pieces coming soon. I've been making jeans, shorts, sweatshirts. I have some stuff that I'll show you that I think is really cool, but the embroidery machine, as well as the sewing machine, I've been using a bunch of it. And I've been going through so much stinking thread. I've been using this pretty much all day, every day, just, just sewing all the time because I wanted to complement some of the Jordans that I'm making. So you have a full on from top to bottom outfit, but also I'll throw all these pieces up, you know, on my website so all you guys can get it. So this is a pair of jeans that I created. This is going to be khaki as well as just black denim. I thought it came out very cool. So this is just a pair of jeans. Of course, I got some shoelaces, but it's just black and tan. And then on the back, it's just symmetrical. You got some embroidery right there as well and it says how you doing keep it moving very cool though khaki pockets on the back it's a little wrinkly because it's been laying around and i just had some random you know fabric laying around so i went with the satin you know why not for the pocket i thought it was pretty cool and then just something very unique you know just a purple zipper for the inside and then just a little wooden button but this is one of the pieces i created pretty cool you know this is a snow jacket that i'm pretty much wrapping up as you can see it's very cool you got a zipper right there you got a pocket you also have a big Big ol' pocket up here. I just have to finish the scrunchie on the bottom as well as the handcuffs. But this is the front and then you got the back. Right here it says, if you read this, follow me. So then, you know, who knows? Maybe people ask, well, what do you follow? Lace Ups Customs, how you doing? How you doing? Keep it moving. So this is gonna be, you know, just a snow jacket as well as with the hoodie. I already went with the fleece on the inside and that's just marble. Thought that was very cool instead of going with a solid color. And as you can see, the hoodie is all one piece instead of 
like wrapping over itself. This is also another piece that I created and this is for a customer that I'm tailoring it to. So the sleeves ended up being a little bit longer than what they wanted. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit up, readjust it, how you doing? But this is a front. So you got the Looney Tunes, you got the blue and white. This is what they wanted. So I think it's very cool as well as for the inside is just all pink fleece. So everything on the inside is all pink. So this is a front and then you got the back going on. No embroidery on here, just my logo on the pocket right there, but that'll be coming out later. And then this was just a normal hoodie. So it crosses it over. As you can see, very cool. It's very big, very comfortable. Some of the pieces that will be coming out very soon. Nothing like this, not with the characters. I like more of just like solid pieces or maybe a design, but this was very cool for the customer and what they like. The piece that I'm working on right now is going to turn out very awesome as well. I'm working with that with the customer right now. So we might make a YouTube video for that in the future just showing the process from start to finish because i do want to get into street fashion as well i have lots of fun you know just creating something that's something that i'm definitely going to be getting into very soon as well as just showing you you know the process from start to finish how i make a piece how i go to the store get all the materials because it is very strenuous sometimes it takes a long time but it also is very peaceful you know throw on a podcast and just start stitching away now once this video goes up i will be more consistent with the videos we're going to be bringing it back to the videos you know every single week multiple ones throughout the week i'm just getting everything settled back i've been having lots of fun this pretty much teaching myself how to stitch fabric clothing because some of the stitches are a lot different than a shoe you know a shoe you just stitch the outside of the piece but for clothing sometimes you got a three quarters of an inch just on the inside you got to cut stuff make it all tailored to whatever the customer would like now once this video comes up i will be posting more consistently Consistently, we'll be having more videos all throughout the week and I'm getting back into that rhythm I've just been having lots of fun creating stuff off of this bad boy You know teaching myself how to make clothing and if you want to learn how to make your own shoe join my shoe making course Link down in the description I teach you from start to finish how to make your own Jordan how to make a Jordan that I'm making right here You can make your own Jordan just like that you guys have been blowing me up joining it every single day asking me questions And I really appreciate it. You don't want to miss out You definitely want to join today because this is something that you just don't see and one last Last thing once this video comes out i will have another channel that will be showing up i'm gonna be starting a podcast where i just you know i'm just gonna sit in the corner talk how you doing keep it moving you know it'll be something cool something fun something in the background just talk about stuff that i'm into just talk about stuff that's off my mind maybe i'm irritated with the shoe you know that i'm creating i'll just be like this leather was giving me problems it ripped and then i had to patch it up and then the glue messed up and now i'm just sitting here i'm saying hey what are we doing? It'll be a fun podcast. I'll also invite other people that I know, some bigger influencers that might want to jump on and just talk about talk about streetwear, talk about shoes. But let's get back to the soles. I applied the glue, but you can't even see it on the upper layer just because of how thin it is. And this is just a very thin layer that we're going to be needing. The glue was applied there, but it's super thin, just enough to make it tacky and sticky, but not too globbery or anything like if we had the upper going onto the sole. I'm now going to apply the image onto the sole. I will start from the heel and go all the way to the toe I've just found that a lot easier when applying this on the other sole as you can see the sole is now all finished and it does say customs I thought it will match up with the other sole that says laced up laced up customs we got an NFT on top if you might have seen that on my TikTok, go check that out as well as this Greek statue as well as just adding this onto other shoes in the future I think it's going to add a really cool effect if you want to learn how to make your own shoe just like this make sure to join my shoemaking course link down in the description but as I said lots of videos coming soon. check out all my other channels thanks for watching and have a great day